What is up my frosty brethren, my name is Arctic and today I'm bringing you guys some Destiny gameplay from the Inferno playlist which just dropped today. Uh, it's a new playlist that Bungie uh, introduced for the Crucible that is basically the hardcore competitive mode uh, as of right now for Destiny. Now this mode offers no radar, the heavy ammo now spawns once and the score has been reduced. So let me reiterate this. If you're going to hop into this playlist, you probably want to play with a buddy. Now, I happen to, uh, to hop into solo. I pretty much had an idea of what was going to happen when I hopped into solo. solo. I figured I'd be playing against a couple parties, which that happened. And I figured that uh, shotguns would be pretty prevalent. And sure enough, uh, I felt like almost everybody was using a shotgun. I tried to do some sniping early on, just wasn't having success with it because, uh, you know, when I'm playing by myself, there's no one to communicate that someone's pushing some area and I need to be, you know, on my P's and Q's basically watching my, uh, I would say, immediate vicinity. So a lot of times I would set up for some shots and boom, I'm dead. So I ended up, uh, after several matches, uh, first two games went pretty bad poorly i mean we played a party of six twice and uh or maybe it was four four to six and uh they were uh all over the place blink uh hunters um so the blade dancers uh which i expected uh and pretty much last word thorn use a, a quite a bit for uh most teams and again this is all like very high level play so these are the types of things that you're probably going to see at the highest level when there's no radar you're going to see shotguns a lot you're going to see thorn or last word a whole heck of a lot and every i think every now and again you might see a sniper uh and whatnot and then in classes you know it's going to be blade dancer uh because of that blink and uh having that little bit extra durability when uh they act play pop that super so that's pretty much what i expected to see from some of the top tier players now the next like three or four matches i played against uh like parties of two and some solos and uh that was a little bit less uh i would say competitive uh, some guys mixing in some weapons that i wouldn't expect them to have in uh that type of playlist and so they got they got rocked pretty much uh, I tried out Red Hand, which did pretty well. I did Last Word. I didn't use Thorn, but I'm sure Thorn would do just fine in there. Uh, probably wouldn't take any of uh, of the uh, auto rifles in there. I saw a couple of people with them, and I was just kind of laughing, when, uh, laughing to myself after this recent update. Uh, Red Death might not be too bad in this playlist if you have uh, some teammates rolling with you. And then, like I said, Snipers... Eh, you know, I really want to use snipers, but I think it'd be map specific if we got shores of time. And in some cases, Twilight Gap, I might use a sniper. But otherwise, I'd stick to probably a shotgun in this case because of, uh, you know, not being able to see people on radar. You could be sitting in the corner. Someone comes around the corner. Boom, they're dead. And so, you know, that type of uh, advantage uh, you can really exploit in this type of uh, game mode with no radar. Uh, just kind of how, you know, there's going to be a lack of communication quite often. And uh, if that's the case, then the, that presents a lot of opportunities for you to kind of sit in a corner, get your health back, which I did a couple times, and then kill people with a one shot. Blink, you're going to see a lot of blink in this uh, playlist as well, just because of that, that movement speed uh, and evasive maneuverability is, is pretty hot. So... Uh, overall, you know, I think it's enjoyable. If you have a party, uh, this is one where you definitely you're going to enjoy yourself a whole hell of a lot more if you have a party in this playlist. Otherwise, you're going to probably have a tough time. Uh, you can get away, you know, if, if you're kind of hiding around uh, corners, creeping, uh, you could definitely get some kills and surprise some people. But uh, in terms of winning actual matches, I, I think it'd be pretty hard to uh, beat, you know, players that are communicating. And that's in typically any playlist, but uh, this one specifically. So I enjoyed myself, uh, had some good games, and uh, I'm looking forward to streaming it on, uh, for Breakfast Club. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next time, folks, I will catch you all later. Stay frosty. Well, you're here, uh, you made it this far, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate it. I think all of my brethren would appreciate it. Leave a like, help spread the word. Subscribe if you've not already. And we have a lovely video right there. Check that on out.